Okay, here's an update on Frances. She had surgery today. Oops. It's okay. And I don't like to feed her on the ground, especially um, in a corner like that because it makes them defensive. I'm going to see if I can get her up. Get her up on the perch. Come on. It's okay. Well, I might be able to feed her down here. Here we go. That's the mouse that has the medicine in it, and that's the one I that's the one I want her to eat first. There you go. Go on. You better swallow. You've got to swallow that medicine. Yes, you do. Go on. Uh oh. She might be not hungry because of the anesthesia. Sometimes they're a little irpy. But we use um, isofluorine, which is a human anesthetic, and they come up, they, uh, the induction's really fast, and they come up real fast, too. And they're not all uh, weird and groggy, and it doesn't take them hours to come to. Okay, come on. You gotta swallow. Go on. That's the only one you're getting. Well, you can see she's using the foot. There's a very good girl. Okay, all right. Put the food dish up. A little easier to get to. There you go. Mm-hmm. too big. Owls can swallow a third of their body weight whole. So from a husbandry standpoint, they're a lot easier to take care of and clean up behind than hawks. Here, I have a smaller one. Because um, hawks like to pick things apart and sling stuff everywhere. Um, And another thing that's nice about owls is that they poop straight down um, instead of leaning over and slinging it six feet and getting all the walls messed up. Dr. Martinez is very happy with uh, how the surgery turned out and he praised me for doing such good maintenance work on her throughout the uh, week between our last visit and the surgery. Um, I'm still using uh, that, I'm going to use the salt solution, uh, those killer antibiotics, the um, Medicam, which is a painkiller, well, you know, it's like, it's like taking Advil or something for us, but I want to see if I can, so he opened the area that I've been keeping, I've been um, expressing infection out of. And he put um, antibiotic beads up in there. Got it all nice and cleaned out. So, don't bite the camera, Francis. It's okay. I know, it's all right. So, um, he, he, last week, after we turned the video off, he said he was worried, but today he said that um, it looked a lot better. 
from last week, so. Oh, it's okay. He sees you know who down there. Who wants a mousy? It's all right, little girl. But Francis is very grateful to everybody who sent in contributions. We thank you so much for um, for helping us all out, and I uh, will just keep posting these videos. And she's just going to get better and better and better, and then we'll be able to. Um, let her go in a new place. Um, normally you want to get the adults back to where they came from, but there's no way in hell I'm turning her loose near a guy that uh, baits birds with pole traps. So, And that thing she's doing out there is called Gueller fluttering. She's exchanging 104 degree temperature for, um, it's about, you know, 75 right now. It's okay, little girl. Okay, I gotta go feed everybody else and pluck Richard for supper. She says, okay, good night. <laughs> she says, oh, who was that? <laughs> she and Sam were talking back and forth the other night. It was kind of funny. I don't know what they were saying, but they were going at it. She's got a real high voice that when you hear the two of them together, the pair, the female, even though she's bigger, she's gonna she's gonna have the higher voice of the two. Okay, I'm gonna leave you alone now.